Good day, grade 8 students. We are now in quarter 1, week 2.2 in Mathematics 10. Our lesson is all about arithmetic means. I'm your virtual instruction teacher, Sir Orlando V. Pasion Jr., Teacher 3 of Nangkalobasaan National High School. The most essential learning competency is determine the arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence. The term in an arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms are called arithmetic means. When given three quantities in an arithmetic progression, the middle one is known as the arithmetic mean of the other two. For example, in the arithmetic sequence, 12, 22, and 32, 22 is the arithmetic mean between 12 and 32. We know that the arithmetic mean between any two given quantities is half their sum. So we can use the formula m is equal to x plus y all over 2. m is the arithmetic mean, x is the first term, and y is the last term. Take note that we can only use this formula if there is only one missing term in the middle. If there are more than three terms in an arithmetic progression or sequence, then the terms between the two extremes are called the arithmetic means between the extreme terms. In the example, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27, the terms 7, 11, 15, 19, and 23 are the arithmetic means between the two extreme terms 3 and 27. Let's answer activity 1. I am mean. Direction. In the given set of data in an arithmetic sequence, determine its arithmetic means. Let's answer number 1. The arithmetic mean is 18. It is between 9 and 27. Number 2. The arithmetic means are negative 5 and 0. They are between negative 10 and 5. Number 3. 4, 6, 8, and 10 are the arithmetic means because they are between the two extreme terms 2 and 12. Let's do activity 2. Missing link. Direction. Insert arithmetic means between the given terms in the arithmetic sequence. In number 1, it only has 3 terms. We can just add the first and the last term, divide it by 2 to get the arithmetic mean. Substitute 12 and 24 to x and y. Add 12 and 24, then divide it by 2. The result is 18. 18 is the arithmetic mean. Num Number 2. There are more than 3 terms in this arithmetic sequence. Let's use the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence to find the common difference. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's identify what's given. a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 10. a sub n or the last term is equal to 100. n is equal to 4. Let's substitute the given values. 100 is equal to 10 plus 4 minus 1 times d. Let's subtract 10 to both sides. Then divide 3. And now the common difference is 30. Another way to solve this is to use the formula in finding the common difference. Let's derive the formula in finding the common difference using the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. 
Let's subtract a sub 1 to both sides, divide n minus 1 to both sides, and now we have a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1 is equal to d, which is the common difference. Let us use the derived formula in finding the common difference. Using the given values, let's substitute and then subtract. And now the common difference is 30. Remember that the first term is 10. To find the second term, we just have to add 30. And now we have 40 and 70, which are the arithmetic means of this sequence. Let's answer activity 3. Solve me. Direction. We then solve the following problems by showing all pertinent solutions. Number 1. Insert three arithmetic means between 7 and 23. First is that we have to find the common difference. So let's identify what's given. a sub 1 is equal to 7, a sub n is equal to 23, and n is equal to 5. Let's substitute the given values. 23 minus 7 is equal to 16, and 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. The common difference is 4. Our first term is 7. All we have to do to find the next terms is to add 4. So 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. 15 plus 4 is equal to 19. Now we have the arithmetic means of the sequence, which are 11, 15, and 19. Number 2. Insert 5 arithmetic means between 10 and 46. To solve for the common difference, first is to identify what we have, and that is a sub 1 is equal to 10, a sub n is equal to 46, and n is equal to 7. Let's substitute the given values. 46 minus 10 is equal to 36, and 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6. And that is the common difference. Remember that the first term is equal to 10. All we have to do is add 6 to find the next terms. And now, we have the 5 arithmetic means between 10 and 46 which are 16, 22, 28, 34, and 40. I will end my discussion with this. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.